Alright, good morning gentlemen. Thought I'd put together a little video here on doing uh, pump adjust, timing adjustments on your pump. And uh, real quick, um, I've already got my wrench inserted here. I like to loosen this side first. Let me show you this bad boy. Okay, I made this. I highly recommend you do. You can get to these nuts with a 916 combination with an open end. It's a pain in the butt. Buy yourself a wrench. Make something similar to this. Save you a ton of time. Okay, so anyway, I got some things removed here that need to be out of the way. This guy. I like to start with this bolt, this nut down here. See if I can get this hand in there a little easier. Boy, making this look real smooth, aren't I? She'll go in there somewhere. Yeah, and this is all done with an hot engine, so I really want this to go a little bit smoother than, than I'm making it look, but there we have it. Okay, so I'll loosen this one. Okay, and then at this point with two nuts still tight, I like to take three quarter inch wrench, which there's a square tab on the front of the pump you can use take a turnbuckle and I go I bent that side so I can hook it around my fuel pickup line that holds that nice and tight right there okay so when I loosen the other two nuts the pump doesn't move but more importantly I can move it grab a wrench again and these two are a little easier to get to my lefty Lucy that's my dog. He's probably gonna bark for a while if there's somebody out there. Hi. Right. Okay, there's one. Here you go, stop. There's two. Okay, it did move a little bit on me. I felt it go and I loosened, which is okay. But now I'm gonna look at my timing mark, see where I'm at. I think I probably can go back a little bit more. So I'm going to turn this loose. Okay, that'll do it. When I uh, post this, I'll do the calculations on uh, exactly how what length a turn on your pump is exactly a degree. It, it's a pretty easy calculation, but I need to know the diameter of that circle on the pump to do it. I'm going to go ahead and crank these back down. So with the wrench on there, you can really micro turn your pump. Um, you may also need to uh, loosen the lines you can reach here because if your pump's turned a lot, once those lines are on, it'll put a lot of stress on those lines and they won't move for you very easily. So if you loosen them, move your pump and crank it back down when you're done. Don't forget to crank them back down when you're done. You can get a lot of gas all over fuel, excuse me, all over everything. Uh, so with these two tight, I can take this guy back off. Pretty handy little device there. Go ahead and tighten that third one. I do need to turn that darn uh, hose clamp on this guy a little bit to get it out of my way some. This is a pain in the butt not to get to butt nut anyway you guys get the gist of it I'll get this one cranked fire it up check my meter see where I'm at timing wise uh, nice video of the back of my head um, I did a, uh, a video also on using the ferret timing meter to time uh, to set your timing so uh, you can look for that uh, it'll be in another post and uh, or maybe I'll put them in the same one. I don't know. But anyway, hope this helps. Uh, it's really not a difficult process. And you can do it yourself and save some.